Alright y'all, it's me again. It's 2.03 a.m. in the morning. I couldn't sleep. So I decided to make a video. If you don't believe me, it's 2.03. Look. 2.03. Can you see that? Two, oh, here's something. 2.03. Can you see that? 2.03. A.M. I couldn't sleep. So I'm going to make a video. I guess. All right. The video we're gonna make today is we're gonna talk. Well, the video we're gonna talk about today is the coolant temperature sensor. This is gonna be two quick ones. One's gonna be a coolant temperature sensor, and one's gonna be on a TPS. The thing I want you to know about the coolant sensor is it's a. Hold on, playing with my pad. I forgot to set it up. Oops. Hold on, give me a second. I forgot to set my pad up. Alright. The cone sensor, it has... Two wires. They both go on back to the PCM. Alright, this is, a, this is a two wire sensor. They both feed back to the PCM. The PCM generates five volts to the sensor on this wire here. Oops. Okay. That is the power wire and the signal wire. They don't show it, but there's a voltmeter right there. That voltmeter is going to be the voltage drop off this resistor at that yellow line, the yellow connector. That voltage drop is going to represent the temperature of the car. Now it's an NTC sensor, negative temperature coefficient thermistor. Now I'm using this uh, PowerPoint to show it to you. It's from Universal Toyota. So Toyota, don't sue me. I'm not selling it. It's from my class. <laughs> anyway. So I'm, here's the voltmeter. Here's my voltmeter. I'm gonna hook this up to my sensors. Well, the cone sensor. As soon as I unlock it, I don't know. She gotta unlock it. It's not working. Well, it's not working. There you go. Oops. All right, I got my. I got both leads hooked up to the sensor now. The red leads going to the signal wire. The black lead going to the ground. Over here is my voltage versus resistance. Now, what I want to point out to you on this, it's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor, meaning this resistor changes resistance with temperature. When it changes resistance, it changes the voltage. The voltage represents the temperature feedback to the, to the PCM. That voltage lets the PCM know this car is hot, cold, or in transition from cold to hot, cold, from cold to hot, or hot to cold. As you can see, a high voltage drop at 4.3 volts indicates a high, uh, high resistance. And that will be a cold car. So when the PCM sees a high voltage, it also sees, interprets the car as cold, add more fuel, raise the idle A low voltage indicates low resistance, low voltage drop, a hot car, low to idle, decrease the pulse width. Now, now 
Now watch this knob right here. I'm a this one right here. I'm gonna change the temperature. Well, I suppose I change the temperature. What happened? Uh oh. All right, we're back again. I had a little technical glitch here. All right, see this lead right here? As I move this lead up and down, it's gonna change the temperature. At this point, you can see right here is a cold car. All the way up here is a hot car. Now watch as I increase the temperature. Watch the resistance. Sorry, the resistance and the voltage change. Let's say we go to. Oops, 48 degrees. My voltage change. My resistance change. Let's go here at the voltage over here at the uh, at the voltmeter. As my temperature goes up, my voltage drops. Sixty degrees Celsius about. About 180 Fahrenheit, my computer will see 0.9 volts. Here, off the wire, this two wire circuit here. And it came a hot car. Now, once the temperature goes back down on a cold car, Let's say it goes to about, about 60 degrees, 20 degrees Celsius, maybe about 60, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know. Anyway, on the cold car, it's about 2.4 volts. And this will tell the PCM, hey, I'm cold, increase the pulse force. So in summary, I want you to understand, this is only This is only a two wire sensor, the mister, negative temperature coefficient the mister, that works off of five volts from the computer that feeds the sensor back to ground. Also on a hot car, we have low voltage low resistance, a uh, cold car, high resistance, high voltage drop. Now let's compare this to a TPS, which is a three wire sensor. Now look at this TPS. Oops. This has three wires. Again, five volts here. Be back to my ground. Now as you can see, this is my signal. Off this wiper arm here. So when this 5 volts feeds this sensor here, it goes through the resistor back to ground. As it flows through the resistor, it goes back to ground. The other thing you need to see is, as we, we talked about this earlier,
I only have 5 volts right there. As it starts to go through that resistor, here, as it starts to go through that resistor, the voltage eventually is going to start to drop. And by right there, I should be near zero. The thing you need to understand is the PCM is measuring the voltage drop off this wiper arm here. So as that arm runs through that resistor, there's going to be a voltage drop. And the PCM will interpret that voltage drop as a throttle angle. Oops. Now, again, compared as compared to the cooling sensor, this is a three-wire sensor. You can see it has own power, it has a separate signal wire, and it has power. I mean, a uh, ground wire. Power, signal, ground. Three wires. The cooling sensor has two. Now, as the, now watch, I'm going to move this throttle. As the throttle moves, this white form will cross this resistor. The voltage is going to drop across this resistor. Uh, let me say that again. There's 5 volts here going across the resistor to the ground, like I said. I'm going to move this throttle. When I move this throttle, this white form is going to move. It's going to measure a voltage drop. drop across this resistor back to the PCM here on the signal wire. You can also see the voltage drop here with a voltmeter. Let me connect it of the signal wire and ground. Now a low voltage 0.9 indicates a low throttle angle. As the voltage increases Uh, again, really? The way I supposed to move. Not serious again? All right, here we go. Another technical glitch. As I move this throttle angle here as I move this watch the watch the angle here watch this throttle angle and compare it to the voltage remember this 5 volts is going through the TPS throttle position sensor through this resistor back to ground this signal wire here is going to the voltage drop I'm going to do the voltage drop and send a signal to the PCM on this wire here. That voltage drop tells the PCM the position of this throttle. See that wide open throttle? About midway. Deceleration to idle. As you watch the voltage, it changes every step of the way. So keep in mind. This is a three wire sensor compared to what we've seen with the TPS. I mean, sorry, the ECT. And it measures a voltage drop across the resistor back to the PCM. Oops.
So in summary, we have 5 volts. That's its power wire, it's 5 volts. That's its own ground wire. And a signal wire. compared to the coolant sensor that only had two wires but it still has a power wire and a ground wire two wires just remember the signal is off that wire there with a internal voltmeter called the comparator that reads the voltage drop of that second resistor. I hope this helps. Sorry about the glitches. Peace.